Hello, this is me, Devoning Octopus, and welcome back to another episode of Super Silly Survival Showdown against Thrasher. The score after the last round is 1-0 to me, so I am leading this so far. Uh, there is no challenge for today's video, as we completed the challenge last time. So, what we're going to be doing today is whatever we like. So, it should be very interesting. I can imagine there's going to be a lot of base hunting going on. So, I want to get up there and start hunting before Thrasher comes hunting for me. Because, he, I, I get the picture he knows the general area that I'm in. And, if he, if he does uh, come to this area before I'm out of my base and he sees me exiting my base, that could be very bad indeed. Now, there are three sides of the, of the map that I haven't explored yet. Which side should I start with? Uh, it's these three you see here. I'm going to start with the closest, which will be the left wall. Now, I saw movement. Oh no, it's just a chicken. <laughs> so, unless Thrasher is feeling very scared today, then that was not him. <laughs> well, he should be scared of me. Uh, this is actually the direction I went hunting for, uh, for him last time, but I think I only got as far as this lake, so I'm going to go right to the back wall and see... Well, I can imagine that he'd go right to the back wall because uh, he'd want to get as far away from spawn as possible just so that I didn't see where he's gone from the spawn point. So, I can imagine that going over here would be the best possible thing to do. I'm, I'm kind of mountain climbing here. I feel adventurous today. Absolutely adventurous. Um, oh, it's even got snow at the top. This is a proper mountain. <laughs> Uh, I, is this the highest point on the map? I think it might well be. Uh, you've got some... So... What was that? <laughs> Did you hear that? It, it sounded like Thrasher randomly unmuted his microphone for about a second. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Fail. Right, okay. I'm going to walk along this back wall then. So, I'm going to start here and then go that way and... Hmm, okay, that's a cave. That looks a bit artificial. Anything in here? No. No, just a very interesting cave formation. Now, I would be mining through walls and things to see if he's sneakily hidden it, but A, he says that he doesn't know how to hide a base very well. Actually, that might just be a decoy, but yeah. And uh, and B, I don't think he'd do, do it with smooth stone. Now, the trouble with doing it with smooth stone is that when you mine it, you always get cobblestone, and then you need to smelt it again. And I don't think that Thrasher would be in the mood for doing some doing some stone smelting every time he tried to enter or exit his base. So I don't think he'd do it with smooth stone. Now it won't be on the right either; it'll be on the left, because on the right is well too small. It's right off the border, and um, the left is well. The left would be a very good place to do it, actually. If you find a, a big hill or something, um, and you burrow into that, it would be very, very shaded, and very unspottable from the rest of the map. So, to do it in a small hill at the edge of the map... I keep on unmuting, unmuting my mic, it's so annoying. Yes, you do, Thrasher. Yes, you do. <laughs> he can't hear me, but I can certainly hear him. And not when I'm supposed to. <laughs> right. Right, I'm going to go th uh, back this way now. I'm going to run, actually, because I do I do really want to... The trouble is, if I run and he does see me, he can't mistake me for a zombie or anything. Because zombies don't sprint. And that's always the problem. Actually, my, my, iron, pi uh, my iron sword is running a bit low. I should have grabbed those two iron pieces from my base. Uh... Oh, there's a cave here. If I can grab two iron out of here, just for when, just for when the pick runs or the sword runs, out. I say I'm going to get five, just in case the the pick runs out as well. Uh, then that would be good. Oh, bang! There goes the creeper. Okay, where's some iron? Now I wasn't intending to go mining today, but I do seem to have come a bit unprepared. Now, Thrasher did mention, possibly again as a decoy, but uh, possibly not, that. The entrance to his base was in some kind of cave. So, if it is, then looking in some caves might be a good thing to do. But if it isn't, then I'm wasting my time. Now, there's the border. Hmm. 
Okay, take a bit of full damage. Now, of course... Oh, hello. <laughs> we got a guard. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, my pig's broke. I mean, my sword broke. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, there's some iron here. So if I can take out this zombie, then that would be highly beneficial. There's a skeleton. Okay, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Come on. Come on. Got to beat the skeleton. I really, really want the iron. Yes, got him. Right. Okay, now if I mine this iron quickly, if I place some torches around so things don't spawn, and then craft, and then uh, smelt myself the uh, the iron. Uh, my grammar is going off today. It's supposed to be smelt the iron for myself rather than smelt myself the iron. Um, well, I've got quite a bit of iron actually. Always better to grab letter, better. Always better to grab more than two than not enough. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, then I can smelt that get myself a uh, a sword and a pickaxe oh my goodness this is a big vein of it <laughs> very big okay right 14 in the end that's great okay I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put on oh, I only need two there because eight times two is 16 and that's more than we've got <laughs> mass with octopus um, and then yeah and then I can craft myself a sword I can st <laughs> I still keep saying craft myself. <laughs> Imagine how you craft an octopus. What would that be? Like two rotten flesh, or <laughs> that would be me anyway. Uh, actually, an ink sack would probably be part of that as well. Maybe it would be rotten flesh around an ink sack or something like that. Yeah, that sounds like a good crafting recipe for an octopus, especially a deafening octopus. Maybe a megaphone too. Yeah, like um, so. A couple of well, uh, so. If that was uh, eight, no, seven rotten flesh around the bottom, an ink sack in the middle, and a megaphone at the top. There you go. That's a deafening octopus for you. I do want to, uh, I do want to not waste time, or I do not want to waste time, I should say. Ugh, grammar. Because uh, if I do waste time, that means less time for trying to find Thrasher. Um, the reason I want to find his base is because stealing is allowed and actually encouraged because that means that I set him back a few spots so I can grab the next challenge while he is trying to make up for what he lost. Also, that would mean he'd need to build a new base. So that would set him back a long way. And that is the importance of hiding your base well. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that. That is how you mine uh, your way out of a place. Look, I can get right out here. There we go. Fantastic. I've already been down that cave. That's the cave I just went down. Oh, how am I going to get up here? I'm going to have to go round. Uh, now, this would be a very good place to hide a base, but it seems to lead to nothing. So, I don't think I, I see any point in continuing to search down there, because I don't think that it's going to be there. There is a skeleton. So, unless Trash has died recently then uh, that's not him. Oh, I got myself an ender pole. So, if I am in times of great danger, I can kind of teleport away from it. Now, I'm in a very flat area here. Thrash's base is most likely not here. Um, so, so I'm going to keep looking to the right a bit to see if I can spy anything. No, I don't think it's going to be... A oh, here are the llamas! He said he found llamas! He said he found llamas! Okay, that's a good sign. Now, the trouble is, he only found llamas sort of in episode 2 or 3 not in episode 1 so I think that his base isn't directly here but it'll be somewhere around it oh right I haven't got a bone on me now but there are two dogs here so if I can kill a skeleton and then come back to this area that could come in very handy indeed I'm going to look around for a skeleton a bit I'm going to kind of backtrack my steps and go the opposite direction just a little bit further into the map maybe I mean, into the map. Maybe about 50 blocks into the map. Uh, the map. So about... Uh, about to that river. Maybe if I jump down here. There's a bit of a creeper there. Or, or a full creeper, I should say. It's not just a bit of a creeper. But yeah. So maybe about here. I'm going to backtrack my steps in this direction. Hello, dog. There's plenty of dogs around here. I want to get... Yeah, I want to get some pet dogs. If I can find a skeleton and kill him, then I can use his bones to train the dog. Sounds violent, doesn't it? Sounds gruesome. <laughs> it's a good job that they're only made of pixels. Okay, there's a creeper. Oh, don't blow up. Yeah, he didn't blow up. There we go. F I think that's the first creeper of the series which hasn't blown up. Because I think creepers are getting more 
more easily more easily explodable now. Have you noticed that? I think I think that they are. Have I got any arrows? I have got any arrows. I mean, some arrows. So I'm going to go after that witch. Because if I can... Oh, yeah. Witches sometimes drop healing potions. So if I can shoot the witch... Oh, dear. This is dangerous. I'm getting really close up. Oh. Okay, I'm going to... Yeah. Okay, did it drop? Oh, it didn't. <laughs> that was a waste. Okay, I'm going to go back into the map a bit and continue to search in this direction. I think I'm too close to the edge of the map. I kind of been around this area a bit and there was nothing nothing to spy around here I should stop taking damage the thing is as you can see it won't let me eat past one hunger bar so I do have to uh, I do have to keep uh, restocking my my hunger and it only regenerates when you when you have less than one and a half hunger bars missing so right now I'm not regenerate re regenerating at all and I I have no food so I really should get round to killing a zombie because, oh, uh, okay, that's, I'm really low. This is not good. <laughs> oh, actually, I don't need to kill a zombie because I can kill a cow. There we go. Okay, that's better. Uh, I'm going to, I don't need to cook anything because that would be a complete waste if I just eat it there. There we go. Okay, at least I have a bit of regeneration. There we go. Better than killing zombies because they don't give you hunger. Uh, beef doesn't, so that's good. Hmm. Okay, I don't think Thrasher would be out here. Hmm. You see, he might be, and I should... Okay, yeah. Thing is, if he was, he... I don't think he would have gone... I think he would have found my base by now. So I think he's somewhere over this side of the map. Oh, there's the ravine, I think. Yeah, I've been in there before. And he went in there really quite recently. Yeah. I think he's more over this side of the map. Because if he was... Oh, that's where I exited the ravine. If he was uh, towards the the desert side, I think he would have found my my base by now. So I don't think that he has. Um, right, where is where is he? So hmm, okay, there's a bit of a marshland around here. Actually, this would be a great place to hide a base if it was underwater or something. In fact, I think I've heard of Thrasher hiding bases underwater before. So oh, what's this? Oh. oh, it's just a cave. <laughs> you sometimes get natural caves like this underwater. That's a shame. Unless he's hidden a base in one. No, he's not done that. Okay, well that will be the end of the episode today. No such luck, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah. See you all in the next video. Give it a tentacles up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching this video. And I will see you all in the next one. And in the next one, we will have a challenge. I don't know what it will be yet, but we will have one. So thank you for watching, and goodbye!